Hey there everyone, it's Linnea. Welcome to the Whimsy Stamps Sounds of Halloween Hop. Now this is an internal hop and if you don't know what that is, a bunch of us have gotten together and we are going to be creating some Halloween content uh, with Whimsy Stamps products and also the Easy Sound Module by Invite by Voice and Sound. But this whole hop is going to be on the Whimsy Stamps YouTube channel. So there are four videos in total, and I will link to them below, as well as um, I will put all the information about this hop in the link below. And I will have all the links to the products that I've used, including this easy sound module and all the Whimsy Stamps products I used. So let's jump right in. I have the Slimline Scallop die, and I cut that from a piece of white cardstock, so that's going to be my main frame. Then I have some of the Vampire 6x6 pattern papers, and I taped just small little portions of one of those patterns onto the Slimline Scallop die windows, and I cut them out. I only needed two, and I'm only going to be using the scalloped frames for this. I wanted to add some color to the front of my Slimline Scallop die, so I'm using some ink blending tools and inks, and I'm going to blend on a spooky little background. So I'm starting with a black ink, and then I'm gonna go in with uh, like an apple red, a brighter red, but mixed with that darker black color, it's going to make this a creepy vampire-ish red, and it's going to match those cardstocks really well. For some texture, I added on some water flicks and some white acrylic paint flicks, just to kind of spook it up a little bit. Now I have a three and a quarter by eight and a quarter inch card base right now. You're going to see in the end, I have to change this up and I have to make it a little bit bigger, but for now, this is what I'm working on. And I just use my pencil and I trace the inside of the top and of the bottom little windows. I'm going to come in with the Halloween Creatures stencil. And I'm just going to stencil some black ink. I'm using a crisp dark black ink for this and I'm just going to stencil some of these little bats so that they peek through the top and the bottom window. I'm not worrying about the middle window, I'm gonna be covering that up with my image, so I'm just doing the top and the bottom. And you can see here how they're going to just peek through. Super fun. Next up, it's time to color the main focal point image for my card. I'm using the brand new, just released, Screams in Vain stamp set. So since this is the first time I'm stamping this image, I'm just going to run over it with my fingers and the palm of my hand to remove any of the factory stuff that may be on the stamp. That's totally normal for there to be kind of like a little film. All I do is take my hand and like rub it against the stamp to buff up that stamp a little bit and then it will take the ink nicely. I'm gonna do just a little bit of quick Copic coloring. I use just two markers for each color combo and I'm kind of switching it up a little bit here. I'm using, this is my normal skin tone color combination, E00 and E21. But for the vampire, I wanted him to be, you know, like super pale and super light. So I used E00 and E000 for him. So he's just a little bit lighter than her skin tone. For her hair, I wanted her to have a lightish brown hair. So I'm using YR23 and YR27. And then I'm going to color with a... Um, some purple markers. I used BV04 and BV02 for her sweater. And once I'm done, I'm going to use my scissors and just trim out around this image. This image was super easy to cut out. And I'm going to start assembling the front of my card. So I have my slimline scallop frame already on my card base. And I'm going to just pop in these scalloped oval frames from that vampire pattern paper at the top and at the bottom and then I'll add her to the top with foam tape. At this point, the front of the card is done and it's time to add that super fun, easy sound module on the inside. You can add any sound that you like or even do your own recording. Okay, so the sound module is gonna come with two pieces, the module itself and the jack. I'm gonna plug the jack in to the sound module and into my phone or your computer, wherever you're going to be getting the sound from. I've just chosen just a simple sound on YouTube so I have this plugged in. You wanna make sure that you have this safety tab removed, otherwise it won't record. I'm gonna hit the record button, and then I'm going to play the sound on my phone, and then I'll push the button again, and it will stop recording.
Okay, so one beep means that it is recording. Two beeps mean that it's done. I'm gonna unplug that. And then to test it, I'm gonna put the test piece back in and then remove it and you'll hear my creepy Halloween sound. Isn't that fun and so easy? So now that I have my sound loaded onto my easy sound module, it's time to add this onto the card. And it was at this point that I realized my slimline card was just too skinny for the sound module. That's no problem. I chopped off the front of the card. I matted that onto a piece of red card stock and added that onto an even larger slimline card. So my finished slimline card is actually three and three quarters by eight and three quarters. So definitely larger, but that's okay. You're going to remove that little test piece from your sound module, use double-sided strong adhesive to tape this to the inside of your card. You do want to make sure there's a little score line, and I didn't pay attention to the score line. It works just fine. I added the whole of this little flap onto the left side of my card with foam tape. All you need is the tiny little one. You definitely don't need this whole big white piece on the left side of your card like I did, but that's okay. I just added the easy sound module on the right with strong adhesive, and then I added adhesive to that flap and closed my card, adhering it to the left side. So then when you open up your card, you're going to hear that creepy sound. I'll show you that now. This does definitely add some thickness and bulk to your card, so you may want to add a little extra postage. I also added a red insert to my card just to cover up that easy sound module, but that completes my card. Thank you guys so much for watching. Remember to hop on through the Whimsy Stamp Sounds of Halloween hop to see more inspiration. See you later.